good thing. You know, and we've been talking about too, it's kind of been quiet last couple of years. I mean, grand outside of the Father's Day storm, but we really haven't had any big uh, outbreaks in yeah. the area. And you know what? Here we go. It's just been nonstop. I know that we're in the weather center. It's exhausting. Too. It is exhausting, you know, but of course, you know, it's that adrenaline too. We want to keep you all safe. That is our top priority this morning. No severe threats. What we will be mindful of are some areas of flooding. Thankfully, the National Weather Service has dropped us out of any flood watches, but any additional rainfall on top of what we've already seen could pose a problem and quickly because our grounds are saturated, as Justin mentioned, and so any additional rainfall on top of that will only cause more problems. Now we're keeping a close watch as some showers over Ponca City, south of Stillwater, down towards Oklahoma City, and back towards Arkansas. We're caught right in the middle. We're getting a break now, but it will not be lasting for long. I do anticipate additional showers in the area for this morning commute, but as we head into the afternoon, We'll see their turn of some sun, thankfully. Rainfall totals just within the last six hours. Very impressive. We're talking about Bixby, too, coming in around three inches of rainfall through the overnight hours. Maybe you woke up to some rumbles of thunder for your location. It was loud, and those uh, thunderclaps will continue this morning with some isolated uh, th showers and thunderstorms and bringing in some additional heavy pockets of rainfall. Timeline for this. Early in the morning, we're going to still keep about 70% chance, but those, those chances really falling off as we head into the afternoon and into the evening hours. Here's our setup, and I want to walk you through this because we're not completely done uh, with those strong to severe storms, and this is what I'm going to point out to you. Again, those showers and thunderstorms this morning, a break, some sun peaking through as we head into the afternoon, but I want to point out, look what happens out to the west. Our next line will start to take hold, and it's looking to slow down ever so slightly, so for us, that means it could be a late night event and early tomorrow morning with some strong to severe storms. Severe weather outlook latest updates from the Storm Prediction Center. Marginal slight with the enhanced out towards our west. That is a level three out of five at Fort Potentially Stronger Storm to develop. For our location, winds and hail are on the lower end as well as tornadoes, but we're looking at flooding. That would be a main concern. Since early this morning, I've dropped this to about late evening, early tomorrow morning because that line looks to be slowing down. If anything changes, of course, we'll bring you those updates. When we're not dealing with those showers, we're going to be dealing with those winds for today. Those winds will be out of the south, southeast, gusting upward about 30 to even some areas, isolated 35 miles per hour. Currently 64 here for Tulsa. Very warm start, 62 down to Mulgee, 61 to Tahlequah, 61 to Four Acres, 62 over to Oilton. There are those southerly winds starting to take shape as we're taking another live look. Use our Wade's RV Weather Camera Network with temperatures climbing into those upper 70s, lower 80s. I think with that break in that cloud coverage, we will get to that 80 degree marking for this afternoon. We had a high yesterday of 84, so we're going to be similar to that, maybe a few degrees shy, but still you'll feel it when you step outside, especially those south winds cooking up. 78 for your high temperature for tomorrow. Again, there goes that main line of showers and storms that will roll through the overnight and we'll be left with some remnants for tomorrow. In terms of what we're looking at as we end to the weekend, we're going to keep those temperatures upper 70s and then mid 70s for Sunday. Additional chances for showers and storms, so an active pattern into the upcoming weekend. Now, before we get to traffic, let's take a look out with the Douglas Brad.